Page 140 and 141. This is exercise 10.4 and 10.5. I'm combining them both because they're talking about the same technique. And that is rotation. Rotation, simply put, is rotating the forearm. You're here and you're just rotating it this way. Or this forearm. See, they both work? Yay. Okay. That's all it is. Lesson finished. You're done for the day. Wrong. I got a little more than that. Let's talk about this exercise 10.4. There's finger numbers above the notes and finger numbers below the notes. The idea is you can play both hands here. Play the left hand an octave lower is all it is. So let's take them one hand at a time. Right hand. I'm going to... I do a weight distribution, so I do this anyway. Here to here. I'm going to exaggerate it. Type thing. When I actually play it, the movement is very little, but the point is I'm still rotating. And that's what we're doing here. I'm not using the fingers, I'm just rotating. Left hand's the same thing. I can do both hands at the same time, and it's easy if you mirror them. It's a little trickier if you do it this way, but you should. You really should learn to be able to do that that way. Next one. Next one. Etc. And that's what they're doing. It's just a technique thing. Because we use that in exercise 10.5. As you can see in the left hand, you see these notes? I'm rotating this. And in the right hand, I'm also using it. Anytime I'm getting this pattern, look at uh, measure 6 in the right hand. I'm still rotating this. Until I get to measure 7, and it's... Uh, I rotate the first one, I go here to here, and then I'm, I'm just shifting the weight down. And then the right hand gets it. Etc. And that's the whole idea of this thing. The, this is a really neat little piece to play. It's allegro, it's fast, but it's eighth notes. The beat is an eighth note. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And staccato, light. And that top note is the tenuto on it, so hang on to that. That's where you're going. Go up to here. You have to feel that motion. Music is motion. you got to feel it. And then all the time, the left hand's doing it's rotating and it's staying soft. So you, you huh? Yeah. And it takes some time. You start it out slowly one hand at a time and then you work it up and this piece the repeats out well they're always important they're really important because of the musical form we need these repeats they're just saving some space in printing by putting in a repeat rather than actually printing it out again but put in the repeat they're important I want to talk about the third line a little bit in the right hand you're starting here on measure 13 here and again, we're using two on the F sharp, so we don't have to put the hand up near here to get the thumb on it. So you're here. Here. Now when you get to measure 15, you have here the 4-5. You don't have to. If that's weird for you, be, it, really it's in your best interest to learn to do it eventually. But if you can't do that, absolutely can't do that, you can use third finger on that. Just rotate it. Again, you're rotating. Even with four or five, you're rotating. It's just a very small rotation. Don't, don't try and do it with the fingers. Ugh. So third finger if you need to. Etc. It's a really fun little piece. Have fun with it.